everyone, welcome to another week of She Hoops. I hope everyone had a great weekend um, and you're ready to get some work done on this Monday night. It's pretty cold in Melbourne, um, so as always, we're going to warm up. We had a special request last week um, to include some dynamic exercises, things to make you more dynamic and quick. So I'm going to include some of those exercises today in the warm up. These are exercises that I do in the gym every week and they've definitely helped me throughout my knee rehab, so I hope they help you as well. So to start with, as always, we need to make sure our muscles are nice and activated. That just helps all the different movements that we do on the court. So to start, we're just gonna put our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and we're just going to squat down, keeping our chest as tall as possible, eyes up, getting those uh, thigh bones parallel to the ground. So really feel like you're sitting down in a chair for this one. We're going to go for 20 and that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to just go half that distance, so a quarter squat. So we're going down, we're going to do a little pulse. So we're moving one centimeter up, one centimeter down, and then all the way back up. So quarter squat, pulse, back up. We're going to do 20 of these as well, and that's four. Try and keep your balance evenly between both feet. Keep those eyes up, that chest up, nice, strong torso. Suck that belly button into the spine. We've got eight more. Five more. I'm starting to get warm already. Great job, everyone. Three more, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Next up, I want to warm up that core and my arms a little bit more. So we're going to go down on the ground in a plank position on our hands. So my hands are underneath my shoulders, my elbows are slightly bent, my back straight. I'm sucking my belly button into my spine, okay? And then we're just gonna touch our shoulder with the opposite hand. Try and keep those hips as still as possible. We're going to do 10 more. My hips are starting to rock, so really try and keep them as still as possible. Nine, 10. Great job, everyone. Standing back up. All right, another leg exercise. We're going to do our lunge. Remember, I love doing different types of lunges when we're doing our ball handling. So this just gets our body prepared for that. So we're going to start with our feet together. We're just going to step forward either leg, Lunge down, I want both knees at right angles. Step back up, push back and swap legs. I want you to try and get back up in one step. So really push off that front leg to meet both of your feet together. We're going to do 10 each leg. So 20 all up. That is number 10, so we're halfway. Great job. We use this um, movement a lot when we did the punch dribble last week. Okay, so we need to be really strong in our balance and in our legs with all our movements on the court, but especially with our ball handling and our jump shooting. One more. 10. Great job, everyone. Next up, we're going to do some calf raises. So all I want you to do Stand with your feet underneath your, so shoulders, so feet shoulder width apart. We're just coming up as tall as we can onto our tippy toes. Try not to hold on, on, on to anything doing this, okay? Try and work on our balance. It helps me to put my hands on my hips. Of course, with all of these exercises, 
Think about sucking your belly button to your spine to switch on your core and help you balance. Gonna go five more. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, last one for our activations is our arabesque, of course, my favorite one. So we're standing on one leg, we're hinging at our hips, we're pushing our bottom one way, our head the other, and my chest, my whole uh, midsection, my torso stays nice and straight, okay? Four. Sometimes it helps people to put their arms out to balance. That makes it worse for me, so I keep them on my hips. Eight. Nine. And 10. Swap legs. As I always say, one leg's going to feel easier than the other, okay? My left leg feels better than my right. If you're tr having trouble balancing, look at a spot on the ground. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, our body should be pretty warm now, nice and activated. I want you to find a line on the ground, a crack in the pavers, or you can just use an imaginary line, okay? And we're going to do some line jumps. So the, this will help with our quick feet, it helps with our ankle stability, helps with hip stability, okay? And it also helps with our quickness on the court. So we're just going to jump with both feet over and back. Quick as you can. We're going to do 40 of these. We're up to 20 already. Great job. Keep those ankles, sorry, keep your feet nice and stiff, really bouncing out of your toes. Great job, everyone. Next up, we're going to go sideways. So we're going to go over the line, sideways with both feet and back. 40 of these. That's already 10. 20. 30, 40, nice one. Okay, next up, we're going to go scissors. So one foot forward, uh, one foot in front of the line, one foot behind the line, and we're going to jump both feet at the same time and swap legs in front, okay? I want us to use our arms for this as well. So as when we walk, when we, when we run, I want the opposite arm in front. So we're going one arm in front, swap, swap. Pick up the pace when you get the rhythm. Got 10 more. Great job, everyone. Awesome. Okay, next up, we're going to do a variation of the line hop, but just with one foot, okay? So we're going to jump in a box. So we're starting, I'm gonna start with my left foot. So I'm going to jump across my body, backwards, to the left, back in front, okay? So it's in a box. So we're going across, back, in front. Good job, swap legs, we're doing five each leg. Across, back, Across, in front. That's three, four. Great job, everyone. Last thing. Okay, this is called a hip switch. So we're starting with one leg up, our opposite arm up like we're running and we're going to swap. As soon as my foot goes down, my other leg's gonna come up on the spot, okay, as quick as I can. I'm going to try and keep my hips nice and still with this. So it looks like, whoa. Okay, so I want you to do it as snappy and as quick as possible, okay? When you get the hang of that, we're going to do two steps. So 
I start with my right leg up. I'm gonna do two steps so my right leg will finish being the one up. So I'm gonna, one, two, snap down. We did this in the last round of she hoops, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. Get those knees as high as you can. Okay, swap legs. Great job, everyone. Um, grab a quick drink. We should be nice and warm. All right, great job. I hope everyone felt a little bit quicker tonight in our activation exercises, okay? Um, hopefully, you know, that work we've done through the week has transferred and you're feeling a lot more springy and we can advance it next week. All right, as always, starting our session with ball handling and you guessed it, our first drill we're doing is the pound dribble, okay? So tonight I'm going to do mm, 60. We did 50 last week. So let's try and get 60 this week, okay? So as always, knees bent, chest up, sucking my belly button to my spine, bottoms out, arm bars up, eyes are up. Ready, set, go. That's 20. Forty. Sixty. Let's swap hands. Let's get straight into it. Twenty. Forty. Sixty. Great job, everyone. Next up, we have 60 crossovers. Remember, feet a little bit wider, knees bent, really sit down into it, okay? The stronger we can get in that position, the easier it's going to be for us on the court, right? So really try and stay in this position. Remember, we're not hunched over, we're nice and strong. Let's go, 60. Let's get that ball snapping, working my fingertips, working my quads, that's 20. We're a third of the way there. 40, hold on. 40. Great job, everyone, awesome. All right, next up, we're going to advance. Last week we did cross through pounds, cross through pounds, and we eventually got to this, okay? This time we're going to go cross, cross, through, cross, cross, through, cross, cross, through, okay? So that's what we want to get to. Remember, as always, if you can't do that, just go pound, cross, 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 pound, cross, 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 pound, or you can go pound, cross, cross, passable through, pound, cross, cross, passable through, okay? So let's start off, we're going pound, cross, cross, through, pound, if you need more dribbles in between than just one, of course, you're allowed to do that. Okay, if we've got the hang of it, let's go cross, cross, through. Cross, cross, through. We're gonna go 20, we've done four. Nine. 12. Oh, I've lost count, I think that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, everyone. All right, next we have our windscreen wiper. So we haven't done this one yet, but it's going to help us in a drill that we're about to do. So we're going in a V. So we usually, I don't let you do the windscreen wiper. We're usually doing this overhand crossover. Okay, but the windscreen wiper, I want you to push the ball across to your left foot. It's like a one-handed crossover. Push it across so it's bouncing in the middle of my feet and then I'm changing my hand on the ball and I'm pulling it back. Okay, let's see how quick we can do this. It's 
Let's go for 30. We've already done 10. Great job, 30. Okay, let's swap to our left hand. So we're pushing the ball over, pulling it back. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. All right, we got the hang of it. Good job, let's go for 30 now. Nice job, everyone. All right. Whew. Now we're going to start, we're going to do that again, but let's try and push it and pull it and hang it out. Whoa. Actually, let's go back one step. We're going to do a crossover and we're going to get it as high as we can. So see, my knees are still bent, my chest is still up, but I want that ball hanging as wide as we can. It's still block, uh, bouncing below my knees, okay? but I'm getting hang time with my arms. All right, so now we're going, going to do that just with one hand, okay? You won't be able to get as high, but let's see how, how high we can go. So you can start off low and then try and hang it out as wide as you can. Great job, try and keep those eyes up. Keep those knees bent, back straight. Great job everyone, let's swap to our left hand. So start off nice and small. Let's get it wider. Alright, awesome job everyone. Next up we have, so this, that dribble that we just practiced is going to help us with our next um, drill, okay? This is pretty hard and I'm even struggling to do it, okay? So it's a new thing for me, but I know that you'll be able to give it a try at least and who knows, some of you might be better at it than me. So, we're going to push the ball out with our right hand to start. And as I'm pushing it out, I'm gonna push off my left leg and move to my right, okay? So I'm using that dribble, particularly the pull part of it, and I'm pulling the ball out and skipping, okay? Or sidestepping to my right, okay? As I land with my feet, I wanna bounce the ball. Cross it over, slide, bounce, cross, slide, bounce, cross, slide, bounce, cross, slide. So, as you're doing this, if you can notice, my body's moving up and down, but the ball's staying the same height the whole time, otherwise the defense will be able to steal it. Like the skip dribble we practiced last week, the slide dribble is another really good way of changing tempos, okay? So you can slide, if, your defense doesn't, if the defense doesn't come with you, then you can attack, okay? If they do come with you, you can cross it back over and go the other way, okay? So as always, you don't have to be the quickest, most athletic person. If you have great footwork, great fundamentals, and great ball handling, you can do anything you want on the court, okay? So let's get into a rhythm with it. So we're sliding, bounce, cross, slide, bounce, cross, slide, bounce, cross, slide, bounce, cross. All right, now we've got that down pat. Every slide, I want you to do, so we're gonna start with one crossover, the next one we're doing three, the next one we're doing five, and then we're going back to one. So much like the layup drill we did last week. So we're sliding, one crossover, slide, one, two, three, woo! Slide, one, two, three, four, five. Slide, back to one. 
Back to five. Back to one. Now three. Five. Back to one. Back to three. Back to five. Back to one. Three. Five. Let's go one more round. One, three, five. Woo! Practice that one during the week, guys. Great job. Grab a quick drink. All right, we have our layup series now. I'm going to teach you my favorite layup, okay? I want you to get a marker. So I'm gonna use my water bottle and I want you to put it, um, let's go in front of the hoop or to the side of the hoop on the right side, okay? So that's gonna be our defender. I want you to start at the, so we're going to take, I think it was five steps from last week from memory. We're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six steps out um, on a diagonal so we end up in line with the elbow, okay? And all I want us to do is start with the ball in our right hand. We're going to dribble up to the marker and then we're going to step to the left of the marker with our left foot. We're going to bring the ball over, okay? And then we're going to step back on the other side of our marker with our right foot and shoot it, okay? That is called a Euro step. It doesn't really matter what foot you step with, so you could come up to the marker and go right and then step back with your left, okay? But you just have to step one foot on one side of the marker away from the direction you wanna go and then back, whoa. And that, may, that helps get the defense off your body, all right? So in real time, we're dribbling up to the marker. We're going left, right, up. Or traditional layup. We'd probably be using our left hand. We're going at the marker. We're going, oh, sorry. <laughs> we're going right, left, up, okay? Do whatever feels comfortable for you. Have a couple of practices at that. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. I'll give you 30 seconds. All right, great job everyone. Now we're going to do the drill we did last week with the layups, okay, but we're going to finish with the Euro step, okay? So remember, the ball starts in our left hand. I hope everyone practices during the week. It's a pretty tough drill, it's hard on the lungs, okay? But we need to be you know, fit to be able to play basketball to the best of our ability. So starting in our left hand, we're crossing it over one time, okay? Cross it over, attack the basket, Euro step, lay up. Okay, that's one. Now we're going three crossovers any combination that you would like. Two. Sorry, three, now we're going to five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, and then we go back to one. Be shifty with this, be deceptive. We go three crossovers. Five. One, two. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Good, let's just go one more round. One, oh, one crossover. Let's go three crossovers. Eight. 
and five crossovers. As always, if the euro step is too hard for you, just do a normal layup, okay? Let's practice on the left side this time. We're going to practice without a dribble to start with. So we're stepping to the right side of the water bottle or your marker. So right, left, shoot. Try and use your left hand. So stepping one way, coming in, stepping one way, stepping the other, shoot. Go two more practices. Last one. All right, let's get into the drill. So one crossover. Three. Remember the ball starts in your right hand. Cross through, cross. Sight the ball in your right hand. Five. Back to one. We're just going to go three rounds of this. So back to one. Three. Woo! Five. Last one. Three crossovers. And five. Oh, great job everybody, grab a quick drink. Great job everyone, those Euro steps are pretty tough, okay, come super naturally to some people, not so naturally to others, okay, so we will work on that a little bit more next week as well, all right. So next up we have our shooting segment, everyone did such a good job with their jump shooting last week, so we're going to get straight into it. So remember we start under the hoop and we take seven big steps out on a 45 degree angle to get in line with the three point line, okay? You will actually need a marker again, sorry. Thank you. So I want you to put your marker halfway between the basket and where you're going to begin, begin the drill, okay? If you can today, let's start with both feet together. Okay, not, not in a staggered stance. But I still want us to try and move our, our left foot first. So think that your right foot is your pivot foot. Okay, we're going to attack the marker. The marker is a help defender. Okay, we're going to attack the marker. And then we're going to do a counter move, so a crossover. Any type of crossover you would like. We're crossing it over. We're going to take one more dribble and we're going to finish right left because the ball's now in my left hand. So I want to finish with my right foot first, okay? If, you, if you're struggling still with the beginning, you can start in a staggered stance. Otherwise, everyone else, feet together. Left foot moves first, dribbling at the marker. Cross, one more bounce, right, left, shot. And of course, because the ball is in my left hand, with a dribble, I need to snatch it across my body and get it into my shooting pocket, okay? So we're going. If 
You can go through the legs, behind the back, crossover in front. Great job, everyone. I'm going to do 10 just to give you a chance to get the rhythm of it. As you get more comfortable, you can do one dribble like I'm doing, okay? We have three more. Great job, everyone. That time I did the little hop, okay? So you can do both feet jumping and landing at the same time. For the last two, I'm gonna finish like that, okay? So my left foot moves first, dribbling to the cone, cross over, both feet hop together to shoot. Last one. All right, great job everyone. Let's move our marker up towards near where the elbow would be, okay? So just take two steps away from where it was. And this time, we're going to attack that area of the core, okay? So I want you to move, the ball's in my left hand, so I want you to move your right foot first. So my left foot's my pivot foot this time. I'm taking two dribbles up, I'm crossing it over, and I'm going to the hoop. Okay, this would be great to do a layup, but we're gonna practice our jump shooting. So I'm gonna take one more dribble, left, right, into my shot. So again, my left foot's my pivot foot. I'm moving my right foot first, up to the marker, crossover, one more dribble, left, right, into my shot. I'm going to make 10 of these. Left hand dribble, right foot goes down, crossover, left, right, shot. Great job, everyone. You can really throw that crossover out in front, okay? Go chase, uh, go chase after it. Okay, I've got two more. And last one. All right, when we're doing all this, really try and shoot the same shot every single time, okay? So you want it to try and feel the same every time. The more you practice, the easier that becomes. All right, let's move our marker to the other side of the court. If it's your water bottle, grab a quick drink. Okay? And we're going to do all of that on the left side. So, we're starting. The first one, our left foot is our pivot foot. So we're dribbling to the marker with our left hand. My right foot moves first. We're going two dribbles, crossover move, one dribble, left, right. Two dribbles, one, two, cross, left, right. We're going to do 10 of these, so we've already done two. If 
If you can cover a lot of distance, you don't have to take two dribbles, you can just take the one. Great job everyone. Let's make sure that shot feels the same every single time. Bounce that ball hard, give you momentum up into your shot. Three more. Two more. And last one. Great job, everyone. Oh, can't finish on a miss. One more. All right, take two big steps up. Move that water bottle in line with the elbow. And let's swap our pivot feet over. All right, so now we're going to swap our footwork over and this time we're going to dribble with our right hand first, okay? So we swap our pivot foot, so my right foot becomes my pivot foot. I'm going to step first with my left foot. My right hand dribbles the ball. We're going one, two, crossover. Remember, straight to the basket, nice low in our nice lunge position. One more dribble, right, left. The ball's on my left side. Okay, so I need to snatch it over into my shooting pocket and shoot it. So right foot's a pivot, I'm stepping with my left foot first, we're going one, two, cross, right, left, shoot. Right foot's my pivot, stepping with my left foot first, one, two, cross, right, left, shot. All right, that's three. I'm gonna take out a dribble now, okay, because I can get to that marker in one, so, can I go 10 from 10? I haven't yet. That's five. Six. Four more. Make sure you're doing different crossovers. Obviously my favorites, the three, the legs. I've done it every time so far on this side. Oh, and that's why. Good example to make sure we're practicing lots of different stuff because in the game, you won't be able to do your favorite thing every time, okay? Two more. And last one, have to finish on a make. There we go. Great job, everyone. Grab a quick drink and we have everyone's favorite defense when we come back. everyone we have a different variation of our defensive drill we did two weeks ago so I hope everyone's been practicing that okay you might if you have a, a, a friend doing this with you a brother a sister mum or dad family member get them to hold the ball I want it to be I'll demonstrate it on the right hand side of the court I want it to be around about the three-point line okay just give yourself enough space we're going to start on the keyway, so let's take one big step to the left side of the hoop. Remember, we're going to take five big running steps out, close out. As we close out, we yell out ball, okay? Then we're going to slide to the corner, so on a 45 degree angle, my right foot's my pivot foot, 
drop step and I'm sliding to the corner in my defensive stance. Then I'm pushing off my left leg, sprinting up, grabbing the ball and going in for a layup. Okay, quickly jog that ball back out, jog back to the start. I want this to be a good workout for you, so cardio. Ball. Ball. Woo. All right, I want you to complete five on your right side, five on your left side, and then we're done for tonight. Great job tonight, everyone. I'm away at Asia Cup at the moment, okay? So make sure you're tuning in, watching our games. We can't wait to do the nation proud and for all of you to get behind us, all right? Your future Opals and Boomers, so make sure you're cheering nice and loud, and we really hope to inspire the next generation. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>